Hi everybody, so I'm out in the garden with the sunflowers right now and some of them have gotten huge. So this is what started out as our tiny little plants and the last time you saw them they were probably about this size in their little pots and now they're getting quite big. So the problem I'm having today is they have these little tiny sticks for support. I'm going to pull it out and I'll show you. So what I need to do is get this longer stick so that it will have more support in the wind and the wind blows it will stop it from falling around and you can see this one is kind of leaning over a little bit so even though it's nice and thick and strong it needs a bit more support so what I'm going to do is get this big stick and stick it in inside it put it a good bit into the ground so that the stick is not going to move around anywhere and I have these little table ties Tie it on to the stick so that it won't blow away or move around too badly. So, place it nice and big and tall. Yeah. So that should help them to grow up more straight. And also, if it blows in the wind, it's got a bit more support there. So I'm going to go and do that for all of the rest of the sunflowers, and then I'll show you. So I'm just going to show you this one a little bit more up close because this guy back here cannot stand up at all without any support. So I took his small stick away and he's just not able to keep standing. Okay, so the reason that I'm getting the big stick here, get one of these long ones. And I'm going to stick it in the ground just beside where the stem is. You have to be careful not to break the stick. And then I need to get a cable tie. These are little plastic little things you they hold in the position that you put them in. So I've put one on this plant here. You see I didn't do it too tightly. You want to give enough space. This is quite a thick stem on this sunflower. But I need it to be able to grow taller and thicker and not crush into the stem as it's growing. So it's just to hold it onto the stick to give it a bit of extra support in the wind and help it to be stronger put sticks on all of our plants here so you can see I've cable tied them on with those little ties you can see the little ties and that's going to help them all to grow up nice and tall so you can see all the tall sticks I've put in I ran out of tall sticks but some of them are still quite small so some of these guys still have to have the small sticks just to help them stand up tall and I'll get some more of the taller sticks in the garden centre now I need to take out all the weeds because all of these little bits of green down here that are not my lovely tall sunflowers are weeds. So I'm going to go and take all those weeds out of the flower bed. So I've pulled up all these weeds. These are all not sunflowers. <laughs> and you can see some of them, this would be the tiny piece that sticks out of the soil. But look how long the roots are. And the reason that these are not helpful for our plants is the roots of our sunflowers are growing down now into the ground and we don't want the sunflowers water to be stolen by weeds. So even though this is a nice little pretty green plant, it's not going to be a beautiful sunflower like these guys. So the water that I'm putting in to water the sunflowers is going to get sucked up by all the weeds as well. So that's why it's important to get rid of. See all of those, there's lots and lots of weeds there. So. Fingers crossed it will give our sunflowers now a better chance. The last thing I do before I go inside now is I'm going to water the sunflowers. They take a lot of water so I fill up this bottle and this bottle every day. And I water the sunflowers when there is no direct sunlight. So it should be okay to wash them now. Normally I do it in the morning. But I want to wait till I get this done first. So today I'm going to wash them in the afternoon. But usually in the morning before the sun comes is a better time for sunflowers. So I'm going to just give them all nice drink. I'm pouring it not on the plant, I'm pouring it into the soil beside where the plant is growing. Some people think that you need to put it on the leaves but if you put it on the leaves it can actually cause the plant to get scorched by the sun and we don't want that to happen. We want our leaves to be nice and healthy. So that is our sunflowers ready for the next stage. I might even need to get big thick sticks from the 
from Woody's or from a gardening centre because these ones are they're going to be too tall for these big sticks that I just put on very soon actually so maybe I needed to do it sooner I'm learning new things too this is my first time ever blowing some flowers outside like I said so yeah this is uh, learning for everybody look at this cool bug this is very unusual I've never seen a yellow fly before. Very cool.